Torture Talk. Back at it again. All right, so I'm going to do something a little different today. This is not an album review. This is actually a documentary review so far. So this is part one of the documentary series, uh, The Last Dance. Um, uh, the documentary about the Chicago Bulls and what was surrounding them at that time. Um, I think that this documentary may be, may be in my top, my top five documentaries so far that I've ever seen of all time. Um, it's very good. I think that whoever edited this documentary, they did a good job. This is a great doc, man. It's a great doc. So it's six parts so far. Um, I'm hearing some people saying that they didn't seen all of it. I'm hearing some people say that they didn't seen only four episodes. Well, I seen six. And so far, I like what I seen. So that's that. Um, so I want to get into it. Uh, first, I don't want to get into the back and forth debate of who's better, Michael Jordan or LeBron James. You know, that is that's up for debate for whoever wants to debate it. I'm not going to debate who's better, Michael Jordan or LeBron James, because history is history. And Michael Jordan probably accomplished more than LeBron James in his in his uh, least amount of time he was in the NBA. than LeBron James was in the NBA. And that's that. So if people think that LeBron James is, is, is better than Michael Jordan, that's fine. You know, um, uh, it's up for debate for some people but for me it's not so i'm not going to talk about that but i want to get into the docu the doc series and what i think that it it kind of opened the eyes of a lot of people and how they feel and how they felt about michael jordan especially a lot of these new people who don't really know and it was introduced to the style of play of basketball back then see basketball back then basketball back then i would say was a little more harder hard nose a little more harder to uh uh how would i say to get past because the 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 players today they may be bigger faster stronger and even more talented but when it comes down to it organized basketball back then was much more tougher because everybody on every team had a superstar or two. It wasn't just one player or three players or five superstars on one team. You know, that's number one. Number two, the thing about the players back then was the calls and the officialing was different. So a flagrant foul now isn't what a flagrant foul was back then. And people could say, oh, well, Michael Jordan started that. We don't know. We could say we could say that all we want. But the players, they played their position. So a center was a center. You know, a center wasn't a, 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 a small forward or a big a power forward or a center wasn't a, a power forward, wasn't a shooting guard. You know, it wasn't like that. So they played their position. The big man played the paint. You know how it goes. I don't have to explain all that. So. With this doc series, it kind of opened a lot of these new people's eyes into where Michael Jordan came from and who he is. And I think that a lot of people are starting to appreciate Michael Jordan now that they have seen how rough he had it and where he came from. See, Michael Jordan clearly was ahead of his time. He clearly was ahead of his time. It wasn't not one player to me back then that was just as good or even better than Michael Jordan. He was so ahead of his time that these players back then, like the uh, Isaiah Thomases, the Dumars, the the uh, the, uh, ja the Magic Johnson, Dr. J's, the the uh, um, Wilt Chamberlain's, all of them, he surpassed them in maybe the first three years as an athlete because he was such a running gunner. That's the thing. And a lot of these players never really seen that. They were so they were so used to playing organized ball that they didn't they didn't really see him coming. He came like a comet. So with that being said, Michael Jordan had had some flaws to his game too. It wasn't he wasn't a perfect player. But 
The thing about Michael Jordan that I give over a lot of players that I think that a lot of people got to understand is he had this competitive nature that a lot of people just don't understand because he was just about the game. That was it. There was nothing else about it. He just wanted to win. We friends, but when we on the court, you my rival. That's it. And I think a lot of people, they try to, they try to muddy the waters and mix and give mixed messages about how Michael Jordan should be on the street. And I think that, um, that, um, you can't do that. Players are players for a reason. That's what they do. I seen an article today about Michael Jordan chose commerce over conscious. So, <laughs> so what? Who cares? He's not nobody's role model. You, you people put that on him. Y'all put that on these players. Some of these players don't want to be your kids' role models. It don't have, they don't have to be. They don't have to be your kids' role models. Just like musicians. They don't have to be your kids' role models either. You're supposed to be your kids' role models. Your kids see them on TV. The kid, your kids supposed to say, your kids are like, I look up to Michael Jordan. Why? They can look up to Michael Jordan, but you can't say Michael Jordan's responsible for your kids. That's just that. But what this documentary series showed me is that a lot of people that didn't know Michael Jordan was introduced to him. And just from just from episode one, two, and three, from the episode with, between Michael Jordan and, and Dennis Rodman and, and uh, Scottie Pippen, it opened my eyes to a lot of things that I didn't know. See, I never really liked Dennis Rodman as a player. I'm not saying he wasn't good. I just didn't like his attitude. And, because... You, you're only fed a certain thing, but you don't understand the backstory. But when the, when backstory is provided to you, now you start to understand why people feel the way they feel and they and they do the things they do, you know? And I'm not uh, sitting here telling you that I sympathize with whatever, but Dennis Rodman was a special player and he did what he did for a reason. Maybe he felt as though that's what he wanted to do. But a lot of people judged him for something that he wasn't really, you know what I mean? And I did that too. I'm I'm guilty of guilty for it. Now, do I agree with his lifestyle? No, I don't. But I, I'm not, who am I to judge that man on him being a basketball player? If he does his job effectively, then why should it matter how he colors his hair? That doesn't matter to me. I don't care about that. You know what I mean? As long as he ain't trying to promote it, like promote it, and whether we see it on TV is different from seeing it on TV and actually promoting it. As you can say, oh, well, he promotes it because he puts it on TV. Well, no, because if he's not out saying, hey, kids, do this. And he's just wearing his hair a certain color. He's not promoting it. That's just what he want to do. Just like same thing with basketball players. If they if they if they if their bodies filled with a bunch of tattoos, they're not promoting getting tattoos. It's just what they want to do. So it is what it is. But I recommend this documentary series. I'm not going to go into depth detail of it. You know, because I don't think that I don't want to sit here and tell people about it. I kind of want people to go watch for themselves, you know, and and a lot of times I do that. I review something, but I don't go into depth detail of it because I kind of want you to go and see it for yourself. So I'll just tell you how I feel about it. And I'm not going to go into detail of who said what and why he said this and why this was put here, because it just doesn't make sense for me to do that. I'm not going to do that, you know. Now, as far as, like I said, the documentary is pretty decent. So if you really don't know anything about Michael Jordan's history or the Bulls history of the three, three, and, and, I, and I like how they went back and forth um, through the years. If you don't know the history of the Bulls and Jordan and how Jordan kind of changed the game of basketball in a way, if you don't know the history of it, you should definitely look at it. I think you'll get a greater appreciation for uh michael jordan and the bulls and even the nba players from back then you know the dream team and everything you'll get a better you'll get a better better uh what's the name so like i said torture talk like share subscribe to the page tell your family about me you know what time it is 
everybody stay safe out there. Stay away from this, uh, you know, C-19 thing. And, you know, be safe, man. That's all I can say. So what you talk.